Hello, Philip Peggots, and welcome back to another episode of Hand of Fate. So, we're back with Jack of Plague, and I can guarantee you that this time we're going to beat him. I don't know how I'm going to guarantee that, but we are. We are. There, I'm, this is the third time we're playing in his... Um, oops. There you go. This is the third time we're playing against him in his, his arena. Oh boy. I'm sorry if I... All the world is a game board. Uh, yeah, of and course it is. men and women merely players. I alone do not play. But I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that. You already know that is complete BS. You two are playing, even if you are just maintaining the game. Helpful priest, it amuses me to watch them theorize to attempt sure. to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not, do, I'm not giving him half my food like last time. Loan, huh? Oh, this is the new car we got. Right, load. In a busy market town, you are approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing a store. If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I will repay you one day with interest. Sure, whatever. The shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying, You you will regret this. I'm trying to make him cry. <laughs> the, this car token is not yours. Why not? Give him my gold. Gold payback. The gods look upon you favorably. Thank you. After ten steps, player draws three gold cards. Dang, that's all right then. Here, take it. Oh, before I forget, if I sound a little sleepy or droggy, it's because I woke up around six a.m. and I'm doing this recording around six a.m. and that's because I might go to a wedding today and. I don't want to leave you guys without a content, so I'm I'm doing this while I'm sleepy and tired, but I do it for you guys. It's a ride. A horse is a fine companion. Absolutely. Sure you'll leave this one in time. Let's hope so. I don't get ambushed. You, have a temperament for friends, you. Even in the animal kingdom. Uh, we're not going there. I don't have any gold, so there's no point. What? Well, why do you always have to insult me, dude? You always insult me. How will you deal with this? I have no money. Suddenly, a tree falls across your. Ah, weapons bristle from the trees around you. The wilderness faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold. I don't have gold. Anyway, why are the dust people and? Skeletons working together. That makes no sense at all. But whatever. I think I just think I just realized something. I think those red dots shows their power level. So So th they're much harder to kill. Oh, dang it. Don't I have my shield with me? Isn't that like one of those starting weapons I usually get with? Oh well. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, I am screwing up already. I haven't played this in a while. Oh, I've been experimenting with other Let's Plays, but they haven't really done much for me. Uh, I'm not sure you guys uh, know, but I was actually trying to do a GTA Let's Play. Uh, GTA San Andreas. But I, I end up, I was almost always end up having the radio on. And it's not even me, sometimes I just get into the car and the radio would just start going and keep forgetting to turn it off. Or oh, there's certain sections where, sections where the radio is just automatically on. And it gets really frustrating. And I just don't have the editing equipment to deal with it. Because they I, I can't edit it. It's just going to take way more hours. You know, I want to edit something out for a uh, five second... Um, Five seconds of a video is going to take me 30 minutes to edit it out just because of the processing, which is insane. I just don't have the equipment to play that game. 
and show it on the internet without YouTube I'm doing sure copyrights. Healer's Ring, uh, and whenever the player Let's receives see healing, they also get plus one gold. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. No benefit if they were already fully- Oh, what? So you want me to get hurt, game? Oh, 10 gold, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Yeah, last time I actually went through the forest thinking it was an event. Oh, Maiden, thank you. I'm gonna ask for gold. 15 gold. 20 gold. 15 gold. Uh, thank you. I always like having you around, Maiden. You always help me out. Alright, take the forest path. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. A lot in the desert. Tainted by your view of the world. It's not tainted. You're so mean. Why are you so mean to me? I'm not tainted or single-minded. I have my own goals to live out. And claim my token. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot to read the intro of it. Lost in the desert. You find yourself lost in another desert. Um. Uh, wander aimlessly. Ah. Uh, all right. So I have have a, have a chance to even get out of here correctly. Oh, yes, yes, was, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I thought I was going to lose, knowing my luck. You, you come across a caravan transporting spices. They share their food in exchange for tales of your adventures. The dealer draws you one food game card. The card tokens is now yours. But yeah, five food is okay. Not great, it's just okay. Oh, three gold. That little thing about taking test steps. Three gold? Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. I get more. Okay, 15 gold. 20. Three gold? Dang. Ah! Angry mob. And earn their ire. As you approach the small town of Witch Witchport, an angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. Ah. Uh... Oh man, uh, try give them nothing. Oh, why did I do? Why did I do? I should have done this. Ah, uh, game, you've been with me forever. Oh, okay. So it's not. It's just not like I got it. I got his food sack! Simon yells, dashing into his crowd. After a brief scuffle, nothing is done. Oh my god. Ouch. If only you had a meal. Yes, a cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your strength, so called hero. Choose a foe. Uh, let's always just go with the weakest. Oh! Dang it! Oh! I'm so mad right now. I'm dying. I have no food. And then the devil just like, screw you. I don't care. Oh, I forgot I was fighting rat people. I'll be honest with you. I want my shield, dang it. Oh my god. I am so tired of these people working together for some reason. Wait! Rats hate people, why are they working together? Do they just hate me enough to work with their humans they hate so much? I guess, you know, principles don't matter. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Why does it matter? I hate humans. But I hate that human specifically, so I'll work with humans to fight him. It's like, dude, you hate humans, stick to it. Unless they're planning to betray them later on. Wait, was I, was I getting poisoned? Do they drop poison when they die? Oh my god, how am I gonna fight the Rat King with this? The Rat King. 
I get it, you guys don't care what I mean. I'm too tired to think right now. I'm so sorry. Excellent. <laughs> the devil cries, you have passed my cutting test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths cross, I will kill. Do you, you said that last time. All right, I got one equipment. Helmet reflection, I'm it sure reflects some arrows. Okay, so I got six food. I got six food. It's okay. Yeah, I'll hit you right. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, I... Alright, let's go here. Alicia in the underworld. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. As you attempt to discover more about the bizarre portal you encountered, one name keeps reoccurring. A mystic named Alicia, apparently for her expertise on all aspects of Shadow Realms, interdimensional travel and Beast of the Void is unparalleled. Okay, your track Alicia's caravan, she travels under the guise of a fortune teller. Her appearance doesn't match the whispers about her. She's considerably shorter and has much more of a beard. She audibly clears her throat before speaking to you. Welcome, stranger. She recoils in mock blindness. The dark, the dark clouds of fate swirl around you in tempest. For a little gold, I can help you see your future through the storm. So, I, if I remember correctly, I have to pay her three gold each time. And I can't have her explain to me until I succeed. So you notice how it says huge success? I have to pay her three gold until I get a huge success so she could explain it to me. So we'll see. Oh! Okay. Ugh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy right now. The mystic's eyes flash wide open. You, your fortune is awash with death and destruction, but there is also hope. You carry your fortune's favor with you. How may I aid you in your endeavors? To someone with such a powerful aura as yours, I could tell of what I know. The price for such information, though, would be high. Sadly, I see that you have nothing I ha desire. No powerful magic artifacts. Perhaps if you return with one, I would be more forthcoming. Oh, are you serious? Can I? Can I? Okay, I could come back to her then. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. In a shitty grove of a beaten trail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Of course, I'm gonna go in there. Oh my god. Thank goodness. First thing first, I have to buy gold. I just have to buy gold. I mean, <laughs> I have to buy gold. <laughs> okay. No. Um, I have to buy food. Like, a lot of food. Yes. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Yeah. I I think I'm fine now. I uh, I don't know what power my powerful artifact she would want. Okay, let's go with this one. What will you do with that? I've no. Let's just buy more food. <laughs> 